dreams are powerful prophetic channels that communicate the leadings of God, and that's why Satan is interested in your dreams. God opens our ears to seal his instructions to us in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumbering upon the bed, he keepeth back his soul from the pit, and his life from perishing from the sword. Job 33 verse 14 to 18. Dreams are spiritual, and that's why Satan is the enemy of dreams, because he knows that the spiritual controls the physical. Watch this video to see the shocking reasons why you don't remember your dreams, and please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos. Come to me. Come here. It is your turn. Me? I should come? Alright, I am coming. Dave, what are you doing here? Someone is calling me. Someone keeps calling me to come. Who is calling you and where is the person? She's over there, by the tombstone. Dave, don't go to her. She's a stranger. You shouldn't be following strangers around. Who are you? And how do you know my brother? I am the spirit of death. That young man is my next victim and I'm going to take him. I came to tell him to prepare for he's going to die. <laughs> no. My brother will not die prematurely but live to declare the goodness of the Lord. The Bible says that we should resist the devil and he will flee. I rebuke you and I command you to flee, right now. The word of God says with long life will I satisfy thee. You spirit of death. I bind you right now and I command you to lose your hold over my brother's life. I can't find the lady again. She's gone. As she should. <laughs> it's a brand new day. Thank you Jesus for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. That reminds me, I had a dream last night. In the dream, the spirit of death was calling my brother. This is a revelation. It shall not stand. It shall not come to pass. I cancel every plan of the enemy against my brother or any member of my family. Nothing dies in my hands, I shall not cast my young in Jesus' name, Amen. I will fast and pray concerning this dream, the devil cannot snatch me or any member of my family away because with God by my side, nothing is permitted to take me unawares. Nothing is permitted to die in my hands. The first reason why we're forgetting our dreams is because the devil knows that once you remember your dreams, everyone around you will be saved. John 10 verse 10 says that the thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. The devil came to steal, kill and destroy. The reason people don't remember their dreams could be that the devil has manipulated and hijacked their dreams. He knows that once you know what God is saying to you, you'll know what to do to be free. Now, in every family, we have people that God put there as watchmen or keeper. They'll always see the plan of the enemy concerning that family. I don't know if you have such people in your family. If they call you and tell you what they saw in their dream, you just know that it is accurate and it's from God. Ezekiel 33 verse 7 says, So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth, and warn them from me. Any bad thing that wants to happen, God will reveal it to that watchman. Once the person sees this and pray about it, the camp of the enemy will be disturbed. So guess who the enemy will go for? He will go for the watcher's ability to see through dreams and block it, so that he or she is not able to see what they're planning and stop them. He makes sure the person doesn't remember his or her dreams, because he knows everyone around you will be saved when God reveals their plans to them. Good morning sis. Morning. How was your night? It was great, but I had nightmare like an attack. Someone was trying to press me. Make sure you pray before you go to bed, always plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your life and anoint your room also. I'll be praying for you. Yes sis. I'll keep praying for you. Father, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for you the revealer of secrets. I pray for Dave. I declare that he will not die. I reject every bad news programmed against any member of my family. Every witchcraft motivated, recurring evil ordinances against my life, 
my family and my brother, according to the word of God in John 14 verse 14 that says, if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. I command such evil ordinances to break and scatter. By the power of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, I speak life. David, you will live in Jesus' name, Amen. Crazy cat lady, how about the assignment I gave to you? Master, I couldn't complete the mission. Why? What's so difficult about the assignment I gave you? It was his sister. I was trying to capture his spirit and the sister appeared at that time. How did she know? What? It must have been revealed to her. You know what? Weaken her strength and make sure you always wipe away her dreams. That girl is so stubborn. Each time we target someone in her family, she blocks us. From today, make sure you steal her dreams in her sleep. She must forget it and not remember when she wakes up. Let's see how she'll be able to scatter our plans again. Yes, master. Why am I here? You insolent girl. You're here to be judged. You've been hindering our plans and agenda because you can see spiritually. Tonight, we are here to judge you. Who is he that saith a thing, and it cometh to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? Thank you Jesus for another brand new day. Why am I feeling so restless? Am I forgetting something? If you can't remember your dreams, but any time you wake up, you're restless. It is because God dropped something in your spirit but the enemy stole it and your spirit is aware, that's why you're restless. 2. We forget our dreams because the enemy knows that once you understand your dreams, you're going to be able to fulfill purpose. You have an assignment. There's a calling of God upon your life. God didn't put you here just to take space. He created you to leave your mark in your family. You were chosen and that's why God revealed things to you through dreams and visions. He doesn't allow anything to take you unawares because you need to fulfill your purpose on earth. The devil doesn't want that to happen and that's why he wants you to be spiritually blessed. Lizzie, I've been so restless these past few weeks. I think I dream but I keep forgetting what I dreamt about. I don't seem to remember my dreams again. Science says that stress, anxiety and trauma could make you forget your dreams. I think mine is spiritual, because I'm not stressed in any way. My spirit is troubled and I'm worried that the enemy might be trying to manipulate my dreams. The devil always tries to attack and pollute our dreams, because he is trying to block a message coming from God. So, if you find your dreams being attacked, you wake up and you're not able to remember what you saw in your dream, please pray about it. Pray before you go to sleep, ask God to bless you with dreams that are coming from Him, and also give you a retentive memory, the ability to remember what you're going to be shown in the dream. Pray immediately you wake up, Meditate on the Word of God. When you wake up, don't just jump out of bed. Sit down and meditate. Try to recall your dreams. Tell the Holy Spirit to bring all things to your remembrance, that's the work of the Holy Spirit. Say, Father, I had a dream and I can't remember it, help me to remember it. What do you have to tell me? Concentrate on recalling your dreams as soon as you wake up. You'll see that suddenly, those revelations that was locked up in your spirit will come to you. Write it down in a dream journal, write down a small detail from the dream, and you'll find out that you'll remember more details about your dream as you're writing. Thank you so much, Lizzie for this advice. You're welcome. Where do I run to? Why is a dog chasing me? I need to run. The dog is coming. Blood of Jesus Christ. Why am I sweating like this? I think I've just had a dream. I'll try to follow Liz's instruction and see if I'll remember the dream. Father, thank you for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. Thank you for the gift of seeing another new day, for it's by your mercy that we're not consumed. 
Thank you the Almighty Father, the Prince of Peace, to you be all glory, honor and adoration in Jesus' name. I ask that you'll help me to remember my dreams. The Word of God says in John 14 verse 26, But the Comforter which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance. Father, I ask for the help of the Holy Spirit. Help me to remember my dreams. Powers that makes me to forget my dream, I am not your candidate, expire, expire, expire. Every dream eraser that delete all of my good dreams from my memory, expire by fire. My dreams will not be monitored by evil powers. Every demonic powers trying to waste my dream life, be bound and paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Dream robbers, you have no power over me, be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every plan of the devil to put me to shame and ridicule, be cancelled by the consuming fire of God. By the power that made Daniel to recall all the forgotten dreams of Nebuchadnezzar, O God, restore all my stolen dreams. I silence every evil voice speaking in my dream. Father, arise and retrieve back my dream from the hands of my enemies. Let all the battles lost in the dream be converted to victory. I retrieve all my stolen virtues and blessings through dreams. Blood of Jesus Christ, plant and store good dreams into my memory, so that I will not fall into the net of my enemies. I cover myself and every member of my family with the blood of Jesus Christ. No evil shall prevail over us. Thank you Father for answered prayers for in Jesus name I pray, Amen. What was it? I think I was running in the dream cause I was still breathing heavily when I woke up. Holy Spirit, my helper, please help me. Yes. It was a dog. I was being chased by a dog. That's a witchcraft attack. I will fast and pray to cancel it. Brethren, we are living in the dispensation of dreams. This is not the time for you to keep your dreams in one corner for the fear of knowing the meaning. This is not the time to say I don't dream when you can't remember your dreams. You must start praying consistently to remember your dreams, use the scriptures to fight it. As a believer, it is dangerous to forget your dream. If you remember your dreams and you fail to pray, then you're also in the same category. Remembering our dreams gives us a clear picture of what is about to happen. When we lose our dreams, it takes us to the path of darkness. To remember our dreams, is a means of freedom. Whether the dream is good or bad, it is always good to remember it. You'll have a clue of what's happening in your life or family and you'll fight it in the place of prayers. Try to remember every detail in the dream so that you can be able to interpret it. That way the devil will have no hiding place in your dream or life. Please, give this video a thumbs up, share it, drop a comment, turn on the notification bell and subscribe. Please, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching, I'm so grateful for the constant support. God bless you and grant all your heart desires in Jesus name, Amen.